Okay, so standing in our mountain pose, we're going to access and become aware a little more of uh, our arms and shoulders and then our hips. So let's start with the arms though. So come into your mountain pose with our feet under the hips, and as you find your even weight, again, I always like lifting my toes. That's my little trick for getting the weight even through my edges of my feet. Upright spine, pelvis is upright. Engage the pelvic floor to feel nice and strong in your core. But again, we're keeping some ease too, right? So it's not all about effort. It's a balancing the ease and the effort. So what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and again, tune inward and feel within. So feel your body in space, first of all. Feel your body standing on the floor. Feel your arms and where they might be kind of hanging. Can you have a sense of how close your hands are to your body? have a sense of how your arms are hanging in space. Do you have a sense of how your head is resting over your shoulders? This is all our proprioceptive ability. Awesome. So with that next breath, open your eyes. And we're gonna start working with the arms. And I like to use, uh, put my left hand, which we're not gonna work with right away. We're gonna work with the right arm first. But left hand, just kind of settle it at your lower back, just to relax it and just to kind of take it out of the picture so you can focus on your right arm. And then the right arm is gonna come straight out, parallel to the floor. And when you do that, notice any tendency to lift that shoulder, All right? So if you took the arm out and your shoulder went up, then bring that shoulder back down, right? So as the right arm goes out, the shoulder blade presses down. So press that shoulder blade down and allow there to be a slight bend in that elbow. Don't have that arm so rigid, right? So shoulder blade anchors down. There's a little bend in the elbow, wiggle your fingers, wrist is soft. So the joints of the arm are relaxed, are soft. And you're anchoring through the shoulder. Uh, shoulder blade is pressed up against the back of the ribs. Now with the shoulder anchored, I invite you to begin to lengthen through the arm. Imagine the arm is lengthening or growing from the shoulder a little bit. So it's like a little traction. It's not gonna move much. So again, we're really working with that conscious mind. Now we're going into the interoceptive quality of sensing internally that arm while also feeling that arm in space. Now gently turn the palm up towards the ceiling while maintaining the anchor through the shoulders. And then see if you can take that arm back slightly. It may not go far. So just take it back as far as you can while maintaining the anchoring through the shoulder. Breathe a few breaths. It might start feeling uncomfortable. Again, if there's any pain, come out of it or adjust. You might hold it lower if you need to. One more breath here. And then bring the palm down. Take it back straight out. And then on the next exhale, gently float it down. Gently float that arm down so you offered a little resistance as you floated it down. Oh, shake it out. All right, now come back into mountain pose. Close your eyes. And just feel into the body, especially the arms. So notice how the arms feel. Does that right arm feel different than the left? Does that, the space around that right arm feel different? And how the right arm is positioned in relation to your body, does that feel different to you? And then I'd like you to just close or open your eyes and then just kind of look down at your arms without moving your body. And I should have had you do this before. I kind of I meant to do that and I forgot. But my right arm is further away from my leg than my left arm is. Like they are not symmetrical anymore because <laughs> my right arm is opened up now. So I don't know if you're feeling or seeing something similar, uh, but you might also be feeling it. Oh my goodness, that's my kitty cat. That's continuing to meow. I don't know if you're hearing her. Uh, so let's do the other side now and let's see if we can balance it out. Actually, I'm looking at the, the me and the 
uh, in the screen here, and I can see that, that difference of the right arm compared to the left arm. So hopefully you had a similar experience where uh, your right arm shifted. So let's do the other side. So anchoring the right hand at the lower back, and then taking that left arm out. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to anchor the shoulder. So again, press it down, anchor it, keep the joint soft. Lengthen through that arm, offer some traction. Breathe. Again, if you need to lower the arm, if it's too intense, if it, you don't wanna get into pain, so if you feel that happening, make any adjustments. Then turn the palm up, and then see if you can pull the arm back slightly. Breathe, keep breathing. Notice what you notice. See if we can hold the discomfort. Can we be with any discomfort? Physical discomfort, mental emotional discomfort that we might be feeling. Breathe through it. And now turn the palm back down, bring the arm straight out again, lengthen it. Two more breaths here. And then very gently float it down slowly, offering a little bit of resistance as you float it down nice and slow. And once it's down, shake it out. Once again, let it all go, shake it all out. And one last time, mountain pose. Close those eyes. Feel internally. Notice those arms again. Hopefully they feel a little more balanced now. And if you were to open your eyes and look down, I definitely see that they're more balanced. My left arm is now further from my leg as well. And I can see on the screen that they look more symmetrical. So hopefully you're having a similar experience and we can shake it out. So nice example of introceptive, um, sensing as well as proprioceptive sensing uh, through that little exercise.